united with Christ. Meet local churches with open doors serving throughout the Border Valley community and sharing the truth and hope of God's love and salvation. A presentation by KSCE Channel 38 Christian Television. And now, United with Christ. Praise the Lord. Welcome. Welcome to United with Christ. My name is Pastor Jose Luciano by the grace of God. Amen. We have a special program today. We have a guest uh, minister of God in music. Amen. And I know that God is going to minister to you through his music, his testimony. He's here live performing with us here in United with Christ. Uh, the group is called A Million Angels. Amen. Uh, we go interview uh, Brother Mark and his and his group, his angels, amen. <laughs> so we will uh, come back with you live after we watch this awesome uh, live performing live here on on this station, uh, KSCE Christian Television 38. So we'll be right back to continue the interview. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> I'm thinking about this one thing, letting go of the past. Folks talk what lies ahead, and man, it's coming fast. If they told me I'd be loved like this, I would have said they were crazy. Faith in you keeps me at peace in the middle of the fire. It's your truth keeps me safe as the flames grow higher and higher. But I'll have no fear, cause I know that you hear my prayer. time my heart starts breaking away from your truth let me die to myself that i may live for you i pray Stepped out of pain and right into your light Where once I was hunted in a battle for my life But I'm still standing and it's all because of you I walk the same old streets, but somehow they all see me Where once I was lost, I find myself in you You made me whole inside Starts breaking away from your truth. Let me die to myself that I may live for you. out to what's ahead now that I'm close to you I'll never be alone again I pray so I pray so as I run to the prize you renew my life I pray so I thank the Lord for that song. Press on, Amen. With with us now, the the guitar, the guitar and vocal of that group, Brother Mark, Amen. Brother Mark, welcome, welcome to our program, United with Christ. 
Amen. Thank you for having me. Amen. Yeah, thank Amen. you. Amen. I would like to, I want you to do the, 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 the angels? other angels. The Amen. Okay. The angels are on bass, uh, Dave Angel, Dave Hamilton. <laughs> Amen. And on, on drums, uh, we have Cesar Romero. Right. The other, the other angel. Amen. Praise God. It's awesome. I love that song, Press On, because that's where you find the Bible, right? Yes. The Apostle Paul said, Press On for the high calling of God. Yes. Amen. Let, let me know a little bit. Share with us a little bit of your of your testimony and where God, uh, we talked about the three M's, right? Yes. We talked about uh, the man, the mission, and what else? We the talked missionary. About? Yes. What was your mission in your group? What you want? What you guys want to do with that music that you have? Well, um, it starts back. Um, I had a music career, obviously, in uh, in pop music in the secular world, and um, we had a, a we were on a famous telenovela called Clase Cuatro Cinco Seis. In that world, there's um, you know a lot of temptation, Amen. and there was drinking and you know things of that nature. And I felt lost. I wasn't happy. And at one point, um, God literally took me and shifted the gears from one extreme to the other. Mm. He told me, Mark, you are going to do Christian music. And he told wow. me through a song. It's going to be our first single. It's called Follow You. And there was nothing that I could do but feel beautiful. I mean, I, was, I went from complete madness to complete wow. joy. In the matter of seconds, God changed everything for me, and and then He brought the angels, and here they are. Amen. And and how, how the vision of, of the angel, right? The vision. What what's that coming from? You know. Um. Well, what happened was, is that that night when when everything happened, um, I felt surrounded. Because mm -hmm. I was really, I was really upset. I had had a situation happen. Um, I mean, I was just about to release a, or to record an album with my last group, okay. and um, it was country, and I decided not to be a part of that anymore. God basically took me out of there, and um, so I was, like I said, I was really depressed. And I was angry, and I was in my recording studio. I put on a song that was for the band, and it was just the piano part. And I opened my mouth, and the lyrics to a song called Follow You came wow. out. And basically in that song, God was telling me, I have bigger plans for you wow. than you could ever dream of. Follow me. And, oh. and suddenly I felt joy, and all my anger went away, and all my whatever it was that I was feeling just went away completely. And I looked up to heaven, and tears came out of my eyes, and I thanked God for saving me because I knew that he had something better for me. Amen. Now, the music part, we talked about the man. Now, let's talk about the music. Okay. Um, how you guys got together, how the Lord brought uh, Brother David to help you in your ministry, and, and just let us know a little bit about that. Well, um, it started, actually, I went to church and um, with my family, but I was running late, so I was in shorts, so I didn't want to go in church. <laughs> so I decided, <laughs> I decided to stay in the truck and read, right? Yeah read the Bible. And so I'm trying to read and suddenly there's this band or there's music and I'm thinking somebody's rude, you know, they're, they're <laughs> not being cool. And so I was like, wait a minute, is this a band? And I looked outside and right outside of the church, there was a live band and wow. it, Caesar was the drummer. And yeah. I was like, man, that guy is great. I need to, you know, play with him. And so I, I walked up to him and gave him a note with my number on it and my, you know, told him, check out my music and he ended up uh, contacting me he came over at the first rehearsal we recorded our first song um, I believe it's what was it uh, father of lights father of yeah. lights the first song we recorded <coughs> together on the very first day we got together Wow so we needed a bass player and we needed the right bass player and there was another guy that we had been you know thinking about and God just said no it's not him it's gonna be Dave and so um, wow. God bless me we, Dave was actually We've been performing together and playing together for years. Okay. And so um, I called him up and said, hey, you know, I've got this Christian project going. Would you be interested? And, you know, thank God he, he said, yeah. And he showed <laughs> up. And um, 
<laughs> yeah, he brought his beautiful white bass, if you guys seen that thing, I love it. And he, uh, he started recording with us and, um, you know, it, it, it wasn't like, there was like no effort. It was like God did everything for us. It was, just, he just laid it out and said, here guys, do what I tell you and we've yeah. been doing it, it's working. Wow. Now, what type of music did you guys play? Because I, I hear um, country when you sing. Um, you know, that's kind of interesting because I was uh, in a country group, and that's the one that I had was you know talking about. We won't go into that, but um, so maybe uh, maybe the country sound comes from uh, the three of our harmonies together when yeah. we sing together. Yeah. Uh, it, it makes this sound, and so. Um, yeah, if they want to say it sounds a little country, it's a little <laughs> rock and roll. You know? Yeah, everything I would say. Yeah, because I, I, when I was uh, hearing you live play, I'm like, wow, they sound. You see, country, then then uh, that that was a like rock sound. Mm -hmm. Yes, blend together and and it, it gave a, a I mean awesome awesome um, awesome sound. Now um, the mission, we are here for a purpose to promote uh, an event that you guys are going to be doing live here in El Paso. Oh, yeah. Can you give us a little more information yeah, about that? Yeah, that um, we're going to be performing at the Christian Revival. It's the Cinco de Mayo Christian Revival, and it's going to be at Fox Plaza, 5551 Fox Plaza, and it's going to be on Sunday, May 6th. It's okay. called the Cinco de Mayo Christian Revival, but the day that the Swamp Meet opened is on a Sunday, so it's the next day. Yeah. So anyhow, um, there's going to be guest speakers, Pastor Starr, Hobby is going to be there. Um, the 413 Effect uh, okay, is going to be opening up the show for wow, us. Wow, okay, great. And uh, Pastor Jay okay. um, is going to be also speaking, and he is sponsoring the event. It's okay. from Walk by Faith Church, and we feel so, so blessed to have Amen. Pastor that's, Jay working with us. No, that's, that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. And yeah. hey, what time is it going to start? It starts at 12 to 2. It's going to, yeah, 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. And sometimes it goes. Or is it 12 a.m.? No, it's 12 p.m. <laughs> so now if it goes, if it so if it goes over two o'clock, that's the Lord, because sometimes you know, so, you know, we humanly speaking, we, we deal with time, but God, you know, He's eternal. God's on His own time. <laughs> you got His own, you know, Rolex. You know, yeah. He has His own time, <laughs> and um, but that's that's good. That's good. So um, how can they reach you guys? For this performance that you're doing or you know any maybe they want to invite you to their church for a youth rally how can they reach you okay um you could reach us on facebook we're setting up a a, a million angels facebook but for right now you can reach us at mark monroe so if you type in you know on facebook you go on mark monroe music at yahoo.com then it will bring up that my page which will link to the Million Angels page. Okay, great, yeah. great. And um, and you want also churches to come in and support you guys that day? Yeah, absolutely, we're inviting all Christians. You mm -hmm. know, it's you know, there's so many different denominations. Yeah, denominations. You've got these and this. we all believe in Jesus. Yeah. So it's that's the main thing. Um, I think we need to we need to focus on God and Jesus before we even focus on anything else. Yeah because that's the most important thing. I mean, if you remember, the Sermon uh, on the Mount was outside. There was no walls. Yes, yes, that's and true. And so a million angels wants to reach everybody and anybody. And if there's anybody out there that, you know, might be thinking like or be in a, a bad situation or they're drinking or doing things they shouldn't be doing, you can be saved. God wants to save you, and he wants to be with you. He wants to heal you, and he will because he did me. He mm -hmm. healed me in, in a blink of an eye. It went from craziness to beauty. So you can be saved instantly. Wow. You just have to give your life to Jesus. That's that, it. That, that's, that's it's really thing. easy. You know, people yeah. think it's, 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 not, it's not complicated, right, to no. receive Christ. It's just no. a total heart surrender. No, you just get on your knees and you say, Jesus, come into my life. I've had it. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I want you to, I want you to take over, drive the boat. Um, and that's it. You do that. Living like a Christian is a little bit more difficult, um, but giving your life to Christ is easy. Yes. And as long as, as when you get into that moment where you feel you're going to do something that maybe you shouldn't or whatever, all you got to do is just say, hey, God, you know, take me out of the situation, and he'll do it like that. I, you, I mean, I'm talking to a person that was, you know, up there with the big boys, huh? For a while, yeah. Like you, have, you have contract, you, 
you you about to sign your, na your name on the dollar line? Oh no, I did actually. We were we were signed to Sony, and Sony Columbia. So I mean, so you talking about a total change completely? Completely. It you went know? from it went from everything that's, you know, probably not good, to being in the best band I've ever been in with the most beautiful people. Um, they have their own personal relationship with Jesus, and um, it's great. I mean, we go to rehearsal, there's no arguing. Nobody's fighting. It's not like, <laughs> Dave, you know, what's going on? Or, Cesar, play this. And you're like, I'm sick of you, and throwing drumsticks. Or, you know, <laughs> it's not like that. It's like we get together. It's and easy. It's easy. Yeah. We hold hands and we pray. You know, I mean, a lot of people might think, you know, these guys are nerds, yeah. but it's okay. You know. Yeah, you know, because you, all you guys have the same spirit. You serve the same God. Yes. And that, you know, I, I believe when 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 we unite each other, we become an explosion. Yes. You know, and and, and yeah, through your music, through your uh, the words that the Lord have been giving to you guys, because you told me you have a lot of songs. Oh, yeah. I mean, you got you got, and I heard some of them. And they yeah. are They are off the hook. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Because God's off the hook. He just keeps. <laughs> You know, it's like this song, as a matter of fact, we weren't going to perform this song. We were thinking of other ones that were closer to being finished. And at the last second, you know, I'm, I'm flipping through Facebook and I see this thing. It says, press on. And I'm like, press on. What, you know, it, Philippians, I think it's 314. And it caught my eye. And it was just like, God was telling me, you have to write this song. He, that's how he works through me. It's crazy. He's yeah. like, he gives me, uh, he put revival in my mind, and that kept going through. That was another song. But back to Press On. So it was there, and I'm like, okay, God, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. You know, wow. I'm open. And so the lyrics just started coming and picked up the guitar. And before you know it, the song was done. And I'm like, hey, guys, you know, why don't we, what do you think if we do this song yeah. uh, for the thing? But we haven't even recorded it. Don't worry about it. Show up on this day and we'll record it. And so we did. And as a matter of fact, thank God for Ted Kelly. Um, oh, yeah. He, uh, he, him, and I were were up working on this particular song last night. So yeah, it's I, been, could, I could see your eyes. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> Where's the makeup was, people? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but let me tell you, you guys are a blessing. I said we met each other in Pastor Jay's church. Yes, at Pastor, Walk by Faith. Yeah, the sponsored church that is going to sponsor that event for you guys. And um, when I heard you guys sing, I said, wow, this is this is awesome. Yes. And, you know, and again, I, I, this arena is open to you guys because I believe in your music. I believe in your vision. I believe in your 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 worshiping God in your music. Thank you. That, you know, and, and I know this is this might be baby steps, but I know God's going to take you higher, higher. And, and deeper debts, you know, the, the, as long as long as God brings you up, always stay humble. Oh yeah, and you know that God's going to open a lot of doors. He's you. opening them right now, and and I got something to tell you right here talk, live on TV. Talk to me, fresh. News. Okay, so you you um you were doing your sermon and and you were talking about a church on fire, yeah. and you said that, and I was like, church on fire. Oh God, He's speaking to me again. So um, as a matter of fact, that song right now is being written. I've got the chorus and. I'm so grateful that I was watching you because when you said that, Church on Fire, it ignited more fire in me. And so this song is going to be, it's going to be amazing, just wow. like all the songs that God gives us. Because, so because revival good. means to bring alive. Yes, that's and, Jesus' revival. But, but Church on Fire was what you said. So I looked it up and I started reading about it. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing. It's like fire is good. Yes. And the fire in our hearts for Jesus is great and that's the fire that's being ignited and Amen. we Praise are going to be making great music and church on fire is going to be a, an amazing song and i don't even have the music for it yet i just have the idea and some of the lyrics and thank you no, for, amen. Thank, thank you for for saying that you know god put it through you and it came to me amen so before we we uh we finish this interview uh brother david you want to say something to maybe uh somebody might be watching and because uh you also uh, a school teacher for music, right? I'm a teacher right? and I'm a worship leader at a church, too. Oh, wow. So. Uh, you could uh, let people know what church you go to. Well, I go to the Ridge. I'm a worship leader at the Ridge, which is a satellite church to Western Hills Methodist Church. But, um, you know, as, as far as being playing with Mark, it's been, I've only been here in a short time, and it's been amazing. And when I mean easy, it's easy. We get together and we just boom, boom, <laughs> just playing music. 
And it's always been the way that I worship. That's good. Through music. It's always been, you know, since I was five years old. Wow. So I've been doing this for a really long time. He's always been a good boy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and, then, and then the quiet, the, the quiet guy from the group, uh, Brother Caesar, he's All very right. quiet. Hi, uh, yeah. I just want to give a shout out to my, my church at San Martin de Porras. Um, and uh, the young, the Axe group, the young Axe group at San Martin de Porras. So, um, and uh, also give a short message to all the young people there that um, um, there's a lot of uh, demand for musicians in, uh, you know, at church. Mm -hmm. So if you play your guitar, if you play guitar, drums, and you, you know, you don't want to waste your talent, so go to your, you know, the nearest church and offer your services to God. And um, I guarantee you that it's going to feel, you know, really good. Awesome. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's an awesome message. Amen. And uh, before Can I we go. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> You'll be playing. You Sophia, Max, I love you guys, and Christina, you too. Amen, amen. amen. The Lord, the Lord is so good, people. Um, I'm, I'm just excited. I mean, to, uh, I'm, what I'm sad is the, the the time is very short, but because I know you guys have a lot of things that you want to share, but I want to talk to uh, our audience here today. I want to make it personal to you. I want to let you know you heard the testimony of Mark and. Brother Dave and Caesar, how God took him, took him out of the guttermost to bring him to the uppermost. Amen. God took him out of nobody to make him into somebody. And God wants to do that for you today. Amen. You might be hearing this and you may say, Pastor, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, you got me excited. I said, how, should, how can I receive Jesus as my personal Savior? As Mark said, very easy. The Bible says, if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our heart that God has raised him from the dead, by your confession, you are born again. Amen. And today you can do that. I don't care how many times you tried or how many times you failed. God is the God of the second chance. Amen. Let's pray. Father, I pray for every person who's watching me live, oh Lord. I pray that you may save them, fill them with your Holy Spirit. Father, lead them to the closest church, O oh Lord, that they could make that confession of faith in that church, O oh Lord God. I thank you, O oh Lord, for the million angels. I thank you for Brother Mark, O oh my God, Brother David, and Brother Caesar. Continue blessing this ministry. Bless them, O oh Lord, even the Cinco de Mayo, Lord. Bring churches to sponsor and support these great men of God. Father, I thank you and I praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Again, thank you. Uh, once again, remember, call 915-532-8518 for your prayer. I'm, we're here praying for you in Jesus' name. Have a blessed day. Amen. I'm thinking about this one thing, letting go of the past. Folks start with lies ahead. And man, it's coming fast. If they told me I'd be loved like this, I would have said they were crazy. Faith in you keeps me at peace in the middle of the fire. It's your truth keeps me safe as the flames grow higher and higher. But I'll have no fear, cause I know that you hear my prayers. And every time my heart starts breaking away from your let me die to myself that I may live for you. I press on. I press on. As I run towards the prize, you renew my life. I press on. I stepped out of pain and right into your light. Where once I was hunting. In a battle for my life But I'm still standing And it's all because of you I walk the same old streets It's how they all see you Where once I was lost I find myself in you You made me whole inside In the blink of an eye And every time my heart starts Breaking away from your
has gotten hold of it yet. I'll forget what lies behind and reach out towards ahead. Now that I'm close to you, I'll never be alone again. watching United with Christ. We pray this has been a blessing to you and we invite you to tune in again tomorrow. We invite your comments, questions, or prayer requests. You may contact us at KSCE Christian Television, 2201 East Wyoming Avenue, El Paso, Texas, 79903, or call us at 915-532-8588 during regular business hours, or you can visit us on our website at www.kse.com. God bless you.